Haven't you ever heard of me too? This is harassment. Come on, baby, show me those great legs. You a dancer? No, I'm not. I'm just going to a party. Now, you and me, we could have a party. Just because I'm wearing a short skirt doesn't mean that you can head on. Impropriety invites lust. You must, on an unconscious level, be filled with wanton, carnal lust. What are you talking about? Book of John, beginning with chapter 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, 
that ye have love one to another. As you know, this has been the message that we have lived by uh, in our relationships with each other and also with the world outside. And it has stood us in good stead. At a time when some congregations are shrinking, we've managed to hold on by staying strong, healthy, and diverse. I believe our congregation will continue to stay strong under the auspices of our new Monsignor, Father Brock. He's been assigned here by the diocese to help us grow even more. Please say hello to Father Brock. Good morning to you all. I look forward to serving as Monsignor for this church. I've been brought on in hopes of bringing this church back to its glory days by creating a larger, more unified fellowship. It is my great privilege to serve the word of God to you each week. <laughs> oh, Dean, you're such a church flirt. No, I'm serious, Alice. You and I should go get a cup of coffee sometime, if not right this instant. After all the times I've asked you and you put me down, now you missed a hearty trot? It was never the right time, Alice, but, but now it is. Uh, seriously, now I'm finally ready to take you up on your offer. Well, I'm not surprised that this new Monsignor showed up when he did, Kate. I'm telling you, I heard the diocese has it in for Father Dalton. That's why this new guy is here to eventually replace him. Well, how do you know? My friend in the diocese office, she's heard them saying bad things about Dalton. He's too liberal, too welcoming to all types, blah, blah, blah. Types. Don't make me spell it out for you, Kate. I think you know what that means. Are you sure you're not putting me on? Alice, my intentions are honorable. You're the one for me, I swear. Cross my heart and hope to die. Hmm. That sounds pretty serious. But still, you rebuff me far too many times. Are you guys still at it? Jeez, when are you guys going to stop fooling around here and get serious? It's every bit as tempestuous as it seems, Diane. <laughs> Today it is. Kate, tell Dean I'm no longer interested. He put me on way too many times. You've been dragging your feet too long on this one, Dean. <laughs> hey, I eagerly wait your phone call. <laughs> Mitzi, Jean, Sarah, Lydia, and James, everybody. How are you guys? I'm good. Not bad, right, James? Nothing yet, but it's early, babe. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> he really is. Well, I've run out of my new favorite eyeliner, so today's very trying. I told you, sweetheart. We'll stop on the way home and look. I understand, Jean. Believe me. Are you okay, sweetheart? You look a little worried. This week is our last meeting with the psychologist. She's nervous. Congratulations, you're so close. You're worried, aren't you? Yeah. What if I don't like the way I look? I keep telling her she'll look good whatever gender she wants to be, Kate. You're lucky you have such a supportive mom, Jean. I know, but there's no turning back from that. No, look. Why don't we have drinks this week. Friday night, maybe we'll have a glass of wine. We'll talk. For sure. Hey, how's my girl? Hey, I'm a mess. You look so pretty. Thanks, but I'm a mess. She's out of eyeliner. Hey, guys. Hey, Callie. What do you guys think of the new one senior? Uh, I don't know. Seems okay. Seems like a cold fish, if you ask me. You didn't, of course. It's a free unsolicited opinion. They're not getting rid of Father Dalton, are they? What? No, they can't be. This is terrible. No one's saying that, Callie. Well, I hope not. He's been so good for this community. Yeah, and he's helped me with my transition. Yeah, we're the finest guy anyway. I have no idea, but I'm going to find out.
Yeah. Thanks a lot for coming. See you next week. Yeah, yeah. Yay, hey, hey, thanks for coming. Hey, see you next week. Thank you. Have it all done. <sighs> hey, Kate. What's the story with this new month, Senior? This is the first I've heard of it. <laughs> they just sprang it on me this week. Hey. You're not going to give the sermon any longer? Uh, well, um, as Monsignor, it's Father Box, right? He's, he's been a priest for a long time. I'm sure he's honed his homilies by well, now. Well, you're my priest, and don't you forget it. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, Kate. See you later. Yep. Father Dalton. Monsignor Brock. Who's that woman? Oh, that's, uh, that's Kate Hauser. She's been a member of my congregation for a long time. She isn't, uh... Yes, yes, she is, Father. And you're okay with this? Have you talked to her? It's not really any of my business the way I see it. It's God's business. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, they both have done what is detestable. They shall be put to death. Leviticus, 2013. Monsignor, there's a reason why this church has flourished. It, it, it's because we love and accept everyone. As I believe God does. God doesn't accept no. it. Life is lonely. And if somebody finds real love and sucker with another person, then who am I to say they can't accept them because that person is of the same sex? God doesn't accept it, Dalton. I am disappointed with what I've seen here today. Some people in your congregation look like drug addicts, and what I assume is a man dressed as a woman. Sinners are not welcome in the body of Christ. This is the message that we will be going forward with from now on. So, baby girl of mine, how was church? It's good! Father Dalton's sermon was really nice. Apparently, we're getting a new priest. Dalton's not going to give our sermons anymore. I'm a little worried. Listen, baby, no offense. You know, I love, 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 love you. But I just, I don't know why you go there anyway. I mean, what does it do for you, Kate? All this Bible stuff. It seems so, so out of step with us and where the world is going today. I just believe in God, and I have faith that he loves us. He? God is some story the patriarch made up to keep us down. When are you going to realize that? I don't think God has a gender. I think God is love, pure and simple, and he, she, or it, just wants us to emulate that love. But I feel God in that church, and he you should respect my feelings as the person that loves me. God, I hate it when you get sanctimonious. You're lucky you have a great yeah. ass. <laughs> I kind of do, don't I? This, as you know, is my first time in the pulpit. It is my deepest wish that everyone in attendance here find solace in a spiritual manner, in the word of God that is being spoken here. At this time, as a newcomer to this church, I feel that I should comment on some of the behavior that I have seen in such a short time. There has been much talk about how this church is a thriving part of the body of Christ. But that body is under attack. It is threatened by the behavior of most of the parishioners. Within this body, there are people that are abusing themselves with drugs to the point that their bodies are falling apart and being eaten. There are those of you that are confusing sex by wearing women's clothes, defying the gender that God gave you. And perhaps worst of all, many of you are defiling your bodies with the same sex. 
The Bible calls this degrading and sinful. And this is a rebellion against God. This church must stand firm and steadfast against behaviors that the Bible declares as sinful and not give way to secular... Who are you to judge anyone? Miss, it is rude to interrupt. I I'm sorry, Father Brock, but you have no right to stand up there and insult myself or anyone else in this congregation. Miss Hauser, this is my church, and I see fit to preach the word of God this however. This is not your church. It belongs to everyone in this congregation. Everyone who's ever reached out to the sick or the homeless. Everyone who's ever just tried to show the community what love really looks like. I don't think this is what love looks like, Father. I am the Monsignor here. I have a responsibility to present the whole word of God. These people are my responsibility. I, I'm sorry to cause any trouble, but I don't think what you're saying is doing anyone any good. So I, I have to leave. What she said. Come on, Mom. Right, let's go. And I'm sorry, this just won't do. Not at all. This isn't right. I hate to say it, but Dean is right. Mr. High and Mighty, this is just wrong and won't do. I thought you guys were supposed to help people. I guess maybe not. Come on, Lydia, let's go. Have to say, you're a real jerk, Monsignor Brock. You know that? God is love. love. God is 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 love. No to We are live at an angry protest which is going on right behind us at St. Bartholomew's Church, where protesters are angry about a recent turn of events at the church. Can you tell us what this protest is all about? We're protesting the new Monsignor of St. Bart's, who has come out against many of its members, including the LGBTQ community. But isn't he just reflecting the church's stance on these issues? Well, we've always seen St. Bart's as a place that supports people in the community when they're going through tough times. And Father Dalton was there for me when I was desperate and needed support. And we think his good work should continue. What about you, ma'am? What has your experience here been? Well, when I first started questioning my gender, Father Dalton assured me I was still a valid person. And I'm her mom. And you know what? She is a valid person. And it isn't right for anyone, especially a priest, to tell her otherwise, is it? And you folks, what do you have to say about all this? Are you feeling uh, slighted like these others? Father Dalton was instrumental in helping James kick his addiction. And now Father Brock says James can't even come to the front door. Yeah, he's always been there for us, and now we're here for him. No to hate. Well, there you have it, people in the community accusing the new Monsignor at St. Bart's of being uncaring as well as insensitive to the needs of his very own community. Back to you, Steve. God is love. 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 Well, they say there's no such thing as bad publicity. A letter from Paul to the Corinthians. Continue. 
Perhaps we need to change our tactics, Monsignor. We truly do, Dalton. We need to cleanse this church. And find a way to bring these terrible sinners back to the grace of God. What is your problem? Hmm? Oh, you have it turned around, my dear. Really? It's not my problem. It's yours. Oh! You were the one that lit into me the moment that I walked into the room. All I asked was, what do you think of this sign? Who gives a fuck? It's not an appropriate response! Then why do I feel that that's all I'm getting from you? Uh, what are you talking about? Hmm? Ever since this whole Father Brock thing boiled over, you haven't spent five minutes with me. Oh. Ergo, me thinking, you don't give a fuck. God, come on, Tara, this thing is about our rights. It's about people thinking that we're sinners when we're just different. You should be out there fighting with me. You didn't ask me. You hunkered down with all of your marginalized friends and then started planning for war. I didn't think that you actually wanted to join me. You don't even like my church. I don't. And I don't understand why you'd want to be part of some group that doesn't even want you. If they do take you back, does that mean that you're not going to want me? God, no! God! God, Tara, when I see you, I feel love. When I feel you and look at you, I feel love. More than I do anywhere else in the world. Really? Yeah, God, yes. So hokey. Yes! Would you like it? A little. Come here.
stir fire. Stir light. Scourge of demons who move by night. Remove their evil with thy might. Whip the sinners till they bleed bright. You woke up from a horrible dream to find an evil nun watching you from your closet. Yes, she shrieked at me. Do you think maybe you were still dreaming? It didn't feel like it. Listen, Kate, you know I respect you. And between you and me, I fully support what you and the others are doing. But do you think maybe your dream is a reflection of your anxiety over this whole fight with the Monsignor? That's what I told her. But then, why would it be a nun? Why not just be Father Brock instead? What? I don't know.
sister of fire, sister of light. Scourge of demons who move by night. Whip the sinners till they bleed bright. Remove their evil with thy might. back so soon. I brought you what you need. Why would you bring me that? Because you hunger for it, James. That stuff nearly killed me last time. Don't lie. You know you want it. No, Lydia, I don't. You hunger for it, James. You hunger for it, James. No, I don't, Lydia. I've been clean for almost a year. It's the thrill that you need. Give it to this. You know deep down inside that you want it. Please. No. No. You must have it. Yes. No, I don't. Yes. No, I've been clean for almost a year. Just give in to it. No. Stop struggling and just give into it. No, please. Come on, James. No. No. Give in. No. Just give in. No. No, leave me alone. I don't want to do this. I really don't.
Yes, can I help you? Hi, I'm Kate. I'm a friend of James and Lydia's. I just heard what happened. Oh, yes, she's told me about you. I'm Lydia's aunt, Marla. Um, it's not a good time for her right now. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not for too long, okay? Lydia, you should rest. You've been through something terrible. James would want you to take care of yourself. Well, James is in here, is he? He made sure of that. He made goddamn sure of that. Kate's a friend. A good one. Thank you, Kate, for coming over. But just be brief, okay? It's my aunt. <laughs> my jailer. <laughs> I'm only trying to help Lydia. She means well. Mean well doesn't mean much, Kate. James meant well. And then he had a moment of weakness and all of his goodness just died with him. He tried, Lydia. As hard as he could. Well, not hard enough. Don't understand what happened. He, he was doing so well. He had beaten his addiction. I don't know what triggered it. I don't even know where he got this stuff from. Who can know the mind of an addict? They walk a tough road. I just, I came in this morning and you know, how did this happen? Kate, please, just go. Oh, She's too okay. upset. She's, just, just go, leave now. Look what you've done. Oh, my God. Father Dalton, are you here? I want to talk to you about some things I found. Hello? Father Dalton? You have betrayed your faith. I didn't mean to.
What are you doing here, you wretched fallen woman? I, I, Go! And just so you know, I have made plans to have you excommunicated from this church. May your soul be damned to hell forever. No, don't, please, I believe, you have to believe me. I, I, God, I, I swear, I'm not crazy. I swear to you that this happened. No, I knew, I knew, what, knew this what, would happen. I knew this would happen. What, what, okay. what, what, are, what are you talking about? You, me, your faith. What are you trying to say? Is being with me so wrong, no, no. so against your religion that you have to imagine that the stuff happens because of me? No! That is not it. It is not about you. I, I love you. I, God, I love you. You have to believe me. You have to believe me. You have to believe me. Sister of fire, sister of light, remove their evil with thy might, scourge of demons that run in the night. anymore. I had the operation. Don't you like it, Mom? What did you do? What do you think? 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What? What did you do to yourself? It's me. I... I don't know what you are. It's me. No. You stay away from me, you freak! Freak! You're a freak! Hello? Yes, sir, I need help. I knew no good would come from right into this kid. Gene's a good person, Mr. Parker. Says you. You don't know how many times I have to come here and fix things. Come on, just unlock it already. Somebody can need help in there. Stay here, man. your stomach or anything, do you? Why do you ask? Well, you know, sometimes when you go into these places, you never know what you're going to see. I usually end up having to wipe vomit off of my shoes. Uh, ma'am, it's police. Are you home? Gene, it's, it's your landlord. Are you here? Let us know if you're here, okay? Oh my God! Wait. Holy shit! What the fuck happened here? Oh, I'm, 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 hey, hey, come on, man! Oh, pull your stuff together! Don't you gonna call it in? Give me a minute. Oh my god, the lady! No! 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 Ma'am, take a seat, please. I can't, I can't take a seat, ma'am. Take a seat. What? It's going to be okay. It's not okay. My friend is is dead. Kate, for the love of God, I I'm really sorry about Jean, but how can it be connected to James passing? Both of them, God rest their souls, were in high risk suicide groups. No, James was doing much oh, better. Shit. He was recovered. Or at least on his way to recovering and... Jean. Jean. Yeah, she was nervous about his, her surgery, but... To kill herself. Oh. But connected, Kate? I don't Forget think so. Forget about the medallions. Why oh. would I find one at my house and also at the booth of theirs? What did these medallions look like? It has a, a cross in the center, a branch on the left, and then a sword on the right. Huh. 
I recently saw Le Mans Senior being given a wooden box with that same symbol on it. Thank God this is so it's related! We don't even know what these things are. You got one and nothing's happened to you, right? No, no, no. It, it could have. It could have. If, if Tara was not there to wake me up. I, and don't forget about what happened at the rectory to me. Kate, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe the feud with the Monsignor has gone to your head. There you go. I, I think. What so. if it is Rock? I think about it. The only thing that any of us have in common is St. Bart's. I mean, I think that you need to call the bishop. You will not talk to the bishop. You will burn in hell for the sinners that you are. Kate? Kate? talking about to take the gift of life from within you. Kate, it's Father Dalton. Father? Father. Why would Father Brock be in Sarah's house? Sarah's house? Oh my god. What's he doing? I don't know. He's, he's just standing in the yard with a whip. He's whipping the thin air. The baby. Something. Something was wrong with it. Ah! Ah! Please. Yes, it had a disease. Please, leave me alone. Father, he is up to no good. You have to stop him. But he's not doing anything. He's just standing there. 
my superior. Go! No, I can't. It was too painful the first time. The baby suffered. I suffered. No more. Please have pity. He's getting in the car and he's leaving. Kate, let me let me call you back. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Okay. Why Sarah's house? It doesn't make sense. There has there has to be a connection. I don't know, Kate. Did you find a medallion there? Uh, no. No, I didn't I didn't see one there. Listen, Kate, I, I think I have an idea that I think will make you feel better. What what if we did an impromptu spiritual cleansing at your house? You mean an exorcism to keep the spooks away? What if, what if the others in the group came over? We could have some food, you know, afterwards and just talk about Jane and James. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yes, that's it. This, this would be very healing for everyone. I think that's a great idea.
Everyone, let's give Dean a big hand for helping us set up this party. Of course, he's up to no good at the moment. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Alice. May I interest you some of this really nice punch? Come on, have a drink with me to celebrate this fine occasion. If you think you're gonna get me drunk and take advantage of me, Dean, that's definitely not happening. Uh, as, uh, as no for a drink then? Translation, get me a drink. But she said no. Of course you did. I don't understand women anymore. They say no when they mean yes. Don't look at him, Dean. Why do you think he became a priest? Oh, come on, Father. Do you have an opening? Let's, let's discuss it over drink. Father Dalton, thank you so much for doing this. Oh, yeah, well, it was your idea too, Kate. I think it was just what everyone needed. It was lovely, Father. Jean would have appreciated it. Yeah, James would have too, Father. I think they both always loved listening to your sermons. You're not going to get in trouble for this, are you, Father? I mean, it's not like it's an exorcism. Or is it? I didn't see Linda Blair anywhere. Uh, it's okay, Callie. No Linda Blair. Or Max von Sydow. Oh, thank God. Not ready for heavy stuff like that. Left my crucifix at home. And he did this. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the ceremony? It was nice. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, was it good for you? Oh, for me, huh? Ah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. double on time tray. You guys are getting along better, aren't you? Are we? I suppose so. <clears throat> Tara? Tara, what's wrong? Oh, Tara, what's wrong? Tara, with your back. Tara, what's wrong? What's going on? Tara, I don't know. I think she's joking. I think she's falling wrong. Somebody do something. I think she needs CPR. Tara, breathe for me. Come on, Tara. Don't bite your... Tara, go! Tara, who knows CPR? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dean, get me a sharpener. I don't want it. Oh my god. 2.1 Tower Street. That's right. Diane, get me a pen. Take all of you. Get on it. Pen, no way. Pen, no way. What are you doing? She's having trouble breathing. I don't know if it's an allergic reaction. Okay. I need to intubate. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Lord, Father, He's going to wear a throat. throat. What are you
Oh god, no! Our Lord, what are you doing? Lord, free your servant from the clutches of this demon. Oh, yes, yes, Father, please, please help me. <laughs> That's not going to work, Father. We're supposed to be on the same team. You traitor. Leave this young woman, demon. Shut the fuck up, Father. This. You're hurting people! Stop abomination! Oh, 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 Leave us alone. Whatever you are, just go away and leave us alone. this happened? Hey, uh, somebody got the rest of this lady? Yeah, I got something for you, Kurt. Oh, God. Thanks, Smith. Just when you think you've seen it all. What the hell is going on here? That's some real rage, man. Some dinner party gone wrong, huh? Maybe the quiche flopped, huh? <laughs> well, whatever. Something bad set somebody off, that's for sure. You can say that again. Nah, I don't think I need to. Tag it. Got something for you, Smith. <clears throat> You're gonna need more ambulances. I'm telling you, Detective Swanson, I know what was there. I Try saw to it. hold still, Father. We have to stop the bleeding. It was a demonic possession, the likes of which I have never seen. Demonic possession. Come on, Father. Crap isn't real. We all saw it. You mean all of you who ain't dead yet? Right? Father, I got multiple dead bodies by multiple physical means. I don't see anything demonic about it. It's true, though. Something was controlling Tara. It was the nun. A nun? There was a nun here, too? It's a spirit that looks like a nun. <laughs> now I've heard everything. Father, did you see anything that might resemble a... Oh, No, I, I mean, I didn't see a nun. Well, not hallucinating is a good sign, Father. How's the wrist? It hurts like... 
You have it a hurts. bad sprain there. <laughs> Keep the coal pack on it. I remember nothing after that thing clocked me in the head. Kate uh, has mentioned something about this uh, this spirit before. You've seen this sort of thing before, Miss Hauser? Not like this. But you have seen the nun before? Yes, I have. In my bedroom. In your bedroom? Officer Smith, can you look around for a nun costume? What? A nun costume? I mean, are you serious? You want me to look around for a nun costume? Yes, seriously. Look for a nun costume. Uh, maybe something kinky's going on around here. Okay, Detective A nun well, What costume. exactly are you trying to say, Detective? Man, that's in there deep. You know, maybe someone's wearing a nun costume and driving everybody crazy here. You, for example. That's horrific. Oh. It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with this. In my experience, murder is committed by real people, not ghosts. <coughs> hey, <laughs> that one wasn't so hard. Can you please have some respect? That is my friend who is laying there. God! It wasn't me. Things were just flying around. I saw those things, too. That's the same thing the four other survivors said when I interviewed them. Uh, detective, I'm not seeing a nun costume. Well, keep looking. I see a priest costume. I actually see a priest sitting right there. And it looks similar to a nun costume. Did I say a priest costume? I said a nun costume. Look, I don't know what happened to you. But I'm going to find out. Believe you me, I'm going to find out. I think you'll need a few stitches to close the wound up. Wait here for me. And how are you feeling? I'm okay, I think. Let's check you out, okay? Follow the light with your eyes. Read out. I don't think there's anything wrong with you. Other than you being stressed out. You don't seem to have a concussion, so I can't explain the blackout. But you might want to get a CAT scan. Maybe it'll show if there's something neurological. Neurological? Great. Keep an eye on her tonight. She has another episode. Call us. I won't be staying here tonight. Oh, dear. Tara. 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 I'm leaving. We're dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? What are you... Kate, there are dead people in your living room. And people are saying that I am the one that did it. No, 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 no. It's not you. It's the nun. It's the God. Here we go. It's the nun again. I know. I know. I don't know how, but I am sure that this is your fault. I don't know what is going on in all this chaos, but maybe it's because you hate yourself, and maybe you hate me too. No, no, Tara. Talk, Tara, don't go. Please just, just stay, Tara. Tara, come on. Now we're going to walk out to the ambulance. Kurt, you want to give me a hand? You got it, Jade. Hey, Father, let's get you to the ambulance. How's that sound? Okay. I know this isn't the right time for this, but I feel the need to say it. Don't contact me anymore. Whatever, whatever is going on here, it's too much for me. Father. I'm sorry. Well, Ms. Hauser, I'm done for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. I have some more questions. Why? Do you think I did it? Do you think you did it? Are you responsible for the deaths of your friends? Please go.
Thank you, Father. I uh, can't let you in. It's a crime scene. A crime scene? What happened? A woman was found dead inside by her mother. Detective um, Jones? Is, is that your name? That's correct, Father. Tell me what happened here. Father, I really can't say anything. It's an ongoing investigation. Uh, please, please. please. Uh, she's a member of my congregation. I can get into a lot of trouble for saying anything. But seeing how you're a priest and all, she died from multiple stab wounds to the abdomen. The abdomen? Are you sure? Please, please, it's, uh, it's important. Well, sure, I'm sure, Father. I mean, that's what the M.E. said. Stabbed in the stomach. You know, the abdomen. Father, watch out, they're coming through. Father Dalton, what are you doing here? I followed the lights, didn't think they'd lead me here. You knew the victim? She's a, uh, she was a member of my congregation. <laughs> That's a hell of a coincidence, isn't it, Father? Can I see her? It's all right, he's a priest. Let him see, open it up. Oh, God. Oh, no. Dear Lord, no. Hey, hey, look out there, Father. Something of a shock has fallen. You know, your congregation is getting smaller every day, Father. Can't be too good for business, can it? Sister of fire, sister of light, scourge of demons who move by night.
nun, you woke up from a horrible dream to find an evil nun watching you from your closet. Yes, she shrieked at me. Damn what the church says if it's causing you to hurt yourself. This world is so full of pain and hate that if you can fall in love with one person, you're lucky. It, it doesn't matter who it is. Embrace it. this. Leave this house. Leave this woman alone. Now, I cast you out of this plane, back to whence you came, Sister Luke. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mother Lucrezia de Bonaventure, lead interrogator of the Spanish Inquisition. Bonaventure went crazy with bloodlust. As if possessed, she put whole towns to the torch. The papacy was forced to intervene and had her burned alive. Her body was interred by the Inquisition in Rome along with the sacred whip she would flagellate herself with. Her whip. He has her whip with her blood on it. And he's controlling her spirit with it, like some sort of weird blood magic. You want a holy war, Monsignor? You've got one. Is there anyone here?
What did you do to her? Nothing yet. Give me my whip. This is hers, isn't it? That bitch, it's got her blood on it and somehow you control her with it. <laughs> what would happen if I shake this thing at you, huh? Huh? I bet you wouldn't like that. <laughs> no, I bet you have a number of things you need to answer for, Monsignor. Now, untie Tara, now! And you see, I can't do that. Because I'm ready for you. You just showed up a little bit early, that's all. Now, <gasps> give me that whip or I'll cut her throat. Well, that would make you a murderer. That righteous nun of yours wouldn't appreciate that, now would she? You're just looking at it from her perspective. I could flay all the skin off your bones and bury you in the backyard, and I would still be anointed by heaven's tears. I am a superhero of heaven. by the monster cocks of the devils of hell. I just hope that I get to see it. What is wrong with you? You are supposed to be a man of God, and God is not like this. You know nothing about God. God created the world with an explosion. God created diseases that melt children's organs. God created insects that lay their larvae in your skin, and then they chew their way out until you die. When are you going to get it? God is a fucking murder machine. Tara, wake up. We got it. We got it. Sister go. of five. Sister of light. Scourge of demons that move yes. by night. Yes. Remove the sinners with thy might. Whip the sinners till they bleed bright. Come on, Tara. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Oh, Tara. No. Oh, God. Get away from her, you hag! Sir, please be okay. No, don't care. I'm okay. Are you safe? Are you safe? Come on, let's go. Let's go. You are an abomination to me. No! Can you go? Oh, 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 oh,
Inquisition turned on you, on orders of the church. They betrayed you, and they burned you alive at the stake. No, no. the Holy See would not betray me. I have served them faithfully. Why was it burned? You were too good at your job. You were an embarrassment, a liability. The church was using you then, and they are using you now. He is using you. I am no mortal fool. I control you, not the other way around, sister. I do man. I serve only God. You are my instrument. I believe, Kate. 